be anywhere from three to six inches deep, depending on. I mean, they burrow in a little bit. They they don't have mobility like scallops or fish or anything, but they can use the tongue to move the sand a little bit to drop it a little deeper in case of a storm coming up. If they can escape it, they will. You know, well, what kind of depths are you talking? About? A few inches in the no, dirt. No, no. Oh, uh, as deep as 150 feet. No, but if you have a hurricane going by, it'll move water. <laughs> Not that deep. Oh yeah, it will. It will. They sense it. It's I don't know, it's yeah. vibration or whatever. Yeah. I, that I don't know, but they'll sense a lot of it. They're not as lucrative as scallops, though, right? No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, scallops. Are, yeah. Is this like an alternative, or do they do this? This is a uh, one oh, single this, fishery. This is a single fishery. Yeah, okay. Um, Just targeted, but... Yeah, this is targeted. Um, you go for, for volume or weight, right? If you can. Uh, yeah, we uh, sell it by the bushel, although we offload it by the cage there. There's oh, okay. 32 bushel per cage. Uh, oh, wow, it, okay. We're paid by the bushel, but... Um, just for packing purposes, you know, right. it, it's easier this way. You know, they used to do bushel bags, but that was a whole lot of extra work, crazy amount of work. And so. is it for clam scripts and like chopped clams, like in chowder and things like that? Uh, yeah, That's chowder like that. and uh, you know, clam fritters, that kind of thing. You know, clam cool. cakes. Yep.